Hello, children. I'm so happy today. And do you know why? Yes. Yes, Mr. Jumbo is going to come to see us today. But children, what I thought today when Mr. Jumbo comes, we will sing a rhyme for him and make him happy every time Mr. Jumbo comes and plays with us. So today it's our turn to make Mr. Jumbo happy. Are you all ready? So let's call Mr. Jumbo. Mr. Jumbo, Mr. Jumbo, where are you? Mr. Jumbo, Mr. Jumbo. Here comes Mr. Jumbo. Hello, Mr. Jumbo. How are you? We were just waiting for you. I am very fine. And how are my little children? I'm so happy to see all of you. We are happy too to see you, Mr. Jumbo. And Mr. Jumbo, what are we going to do today? We are going to sing a nice rhyme for you. Oh, nice rhyme for me? I'm so happy. I can't wait to hear your rhyme. Let's start. Yes, Mr. Jumbo. So children, are we all ready? So let's begin. We have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating when we jump, jump, jump. We get a special feeling when we look at you. It makes us want to give you a hug or two. But we cannot hug Mr. Jumbo because it is Corona times, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to wave to Mr. Jumbo and say, Mr. Jumbo, we love you. Wow, I am so happy and proud of all of you, my little children. You all are so good. Thank you so much. And I love you all too. Now it's time for me to go and I'll see you soon, children. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Jumbo. Bye-bye. Wow, Mr. Jumbo would be so happy, right? Mm. So now let's begin. Today, we are going to revise all our 3D shapes that we have learned. 3D shapes? Yes, three-dimensional shapes that has length, breadth, and width or thickness, right? So let's begin. So let's say abracadabra, gilly gilly, two. So children, can you tell me which shape is this? Yes, that's the sphere. It's the sphere shape. Look here, I have this ball which is sphere shaped, right? So it has a curved face. Can you feel it? You can take your ball and feel it, right? And it is solid. It is not flat. It is solid. And it has length, breadth, and thickness or width, right? So that's a sphere shape. Now let's see some objects that are sphere shaped. What's this? This is our earth, right? And our earth is sphere shaped. And what's this? You play with this every day. Yes, that's the football and it is sphere shape. And soap bubbles, wow, they are so much fun to play with. Yes, and what is the shape of the bubble? Yes, it's sphere shaped. And the tennis ball, same like mine. That is also sphere shaped, children. Now, which shape is this? Remember? Yes, it's the cube. It is also a three-dimensional shape. And you remember the things or the objects that are cube shaped are called cubic shaped object, right? So the cube shape has six spaces. See, look here, I have taken out my box and let's count the faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six, six spaces. And it has eight vertices. Vertices are these points 
where the edges meet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices, and it has 12 edges. These are the edges. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 edges. Now let's see some objects that are cubic shape. What, are, what is this? Yes, these are the dice which, with, with which you play. They are cubic shape. They are cube shaped. And the Rubik's cube? Yes, its shape is a cube. Then we have alphabet blocks. And what is the shape of these or alphabet blocks? Cube shape. Very good, children. Now, what shape is this? Yes, it's right. It's the cylinder shape. You remember Rahul's juice can? This was that, right? So, it has two flat surfaces on the top and the bottom. And they are called the bases. They are these ones. The, this and this are the bases of the cylinder. And this is the curved base. This is the curved base. They do not have any edges or vertices. The cylinder shape does not have any edges or vertices. And it is also a three-dimensional shape, a 3D shape. Now let's see some objects that are cylinder shape. The cloth basket, yes? in which you put all your clothes for washing. So that's a cylinder shape. Then the battery that you use in your wall clocks, in your toys. So that is also a cylinder shape. Then the drum. This drum is also cylinder shape. Yes, children, good. Well done, children. And now let's play an action game. So I'm going to tell you names of some objects and you have to tell me which shape are they, whether they are sphere shape or cube or cylinder shape, right? But you're not going to say it loudly. You're going to do action and show me. So if their shape is a sphere, you're going to swirl your fingers like this. You're going to swirl, right? And if they are cylinder shape, you're going to make a cylinder with your finger. Remember the glass? from top to bottom. And if they are cube shape, you're going to make a cube with your pointer finger and thumb like this. Okay, ready? Okay, the first object is ice cube. What is the shape of the ice cube? Right, it's cube shape, very good. This next one is mm, football. Yes, right, you're right, it's the sphere shape. The next one is gift box. Cubic shape, very good, it's a cube, very good children. And now, mm, the Rubik's cube. Rubik's cube is which shape? The cube shape, very good children. And now, the tennis shuttle box. You know what's a tennis shuttle box in which the shuttles for the tennis is kept? What is the shape of that? It's a cylinder shape, right? So come on, make a cylinder with your finger. Right, you're right, children. Very good. Now the next one, a ball. You're right, it's pure shape, very good. Then the next one, a battery. Very good, well done children. It's the cylinder shape, a round of applause for all of you. Well done, and now it's time for act. Let's see what is our activity today. So we have to tap on the correct shape. Choose the sphere shape. 
So which is the sphere shaped children? Football or the cycle wheel, cycle wheel. This is flat. So the sphere shape has thickness. So the football, very good. The next one. Choose the sphere shape. So a button or a globe. Which one is sphere shape? You're right, the globe, because it has thickness. The button is flat. Very good. The next one. Choose the cylinder shape. So there's a battery and a scale, a ruler. So which one is a cylinder shape? It's flat. Yes, you're right, the battery. Very good. The next one, children. A tin or a stool, a bench. The bench or the tin, the juice can. So which is cylinder shape, the juice can or the bench? This one. You're right, the can. Very good, well done, children. Now, choose the cube shape. So this Rubik's cube is a cube shape or this kite. Kite sir. And cube is a 3D shape. You're right, the Rubik's cube. Choose the cube shape. This is a birthday cap and this is a gift box. So which is a cube shape? You guessed it right, it's the gift box. Well done, children. And now it's time for home play fun. Show me. So we have to find objects in our, in your, in our house which are sphere shape, cube shape, and cylindrical shape. And you're going to show it to your parents, your mommy, papa. Okay? So what are you going to do? You're going to find objects in your house that are cubic shape or cube shape, cylindrical, and uh, cube, cylinder, and sphere. Right? And you're going to show it to your parents. Okay? So have fun, children. And see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.